In today's video, I'm going to be covering a beginner's guide into MetaTrader 4. I'm gonna be walking you guys through all the basic functions that you will need in order to use the application successfully. If you guys stay till the end, I'm gonna be covering how you can copy and paste trade ideas, otherwise known as following signals effectively, and I'm even gonna walk you guys through how to place multiple take profits in a single trade. If you get value from this video, please make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button, leave a comment and any questions I will answer as soon as I see them. Now, if you guys are looking for a broker and you don't yet have one, please head over to the description section of this video where you will find what I believe is the most trusted broker. And you can also join some of my free private Telegram channels where I give mentorship and value on trading. Before you guys invest any money into the financial markets, please make sure you conduct your own due diligence and make sure that you do not invest anything that you are not comfortable to lose. So with that being said, the first thing that you guys want to do is head over to the application store where you can download MetaTrader 4. Now, once you come to the app and you open it, you'll be invited to open a demo account where you will see different currency pairs on the screen. Now, across the bottom, there are different tabs. The quotes tab that we are on now is where you can add different currency pairs that you may be trading. The next one is the chart where you can actually configure your chart and see how the currency pair is moving that you are going to be trading. The next tab is the trades tab where you will be able to see any open trades that you have. The history tab shows all of your closed positions and settings is where you can access your actual live account once you register your broker amongst other things. So when you do open a live trading account through a broker, you can then go to log into existing account enter a company or server name, this will be emailed to you and you'll be given password and login credentials. So let's head back to the quotes page. Now, what I wanna do is give you guys examples of trade ideas or copy and paste signals and the format in which they will come. Now, please don't place these on a live account because this is purely for the purposes of this video. But let's say for example, you have been given a trade idea that looks similar to what you can see here. So first things first, you've got the currency pair, which is GBP USD. So then what you will simply do is select it from the chart and click trade. Okay, now you can then see that the direction is a buy and the order is a market or instant execution. So if you go to the top, you can see there are different orders and instant execution is the one that is currently selected. Now the entry is given as 1.21875. Now because it's a instant execution, that typically means that that's where the market was when that trade idea was sent to you. So what you then wanna do is choose your order size, which you can see underneath instant execution and you want to enter the trade. Now, in terms of risk management, if you are not sure what you should be doing, you can head over to this application. Um, it's called Stinu, S-T-I-N-U. I will leave the link in the description of the video. Now, it's a very useful app. What you can do is you can enter your account balance to begin with, and then you can either enter the dollar value of what you are comfortable to risk, or you can simply change that so that you can have it as a percentage, okay, as such here. So let's say you choose a percentage, okay, and you should not really be risking more than a maximum of 3% per any trade idea, okay, or even 3% of your account balance per day. So let's say that you want to risk 2% on this trade, okay. Now remember, if you prefer to see the dollar value so you know exactly what you're risking, then you can go back to amount, okay? So let's say that you wanna risk um, $20, okay, on this trade idea. Now, what you simply do is you have a look at what the stop loss is. So in this example, the stop loss, as you can see here, is 30 pips, okay? Hopefully, your signal provider or the person that you're getting your trade ideas from will give you the stop loss size. Now, what you then do is you select the currency pair, so GBP USD, and you press calculate, okay? Now, you can see 
for a 30 pip stop loss, okay? And if you're wanting to risk $20, then your order size should be 0.067. So if you come over to your MetaTrader 4 and you wanted to enter that trade again, you click trade. Now you can't do 0.067, but you can either do 0.06 or you can do 0.07. Now what you wanna do is enter that trade as quickly as possible so the market does not move against you and not in the direction that you want. You can then come back and click modify and you can enter the stop loss or take profit. So we can see here the stop loss is 1.21575. So you'll simply enter that in and you can see the take profit as 1.22020. So what this allows you to do is enter the trade so that even if it is moving, you're in and you can then come back and you can change your take profit and stop loss. Now that's an instant execution. There may be times when you're given what's known as a pending order. So that's what you can see here. Now pending orders are used when the market isn't where you would like to buy or sell it from at that exact moment in time, but it may reach there throughout the day. However, you may be busy. Um, you know, the trade idea provider or the signal provider that you might be following, they might not have access to the chart 24 seven, but they know if it reaches that level, then they would like to get in. So let's have a look at this one. It's CAD JPY. So we head back over to the quotes page. It's not actually there, so we can search it. There we go, CAD JPY. And we simply add it into our chart. We can then come back and we can click trade. Now, again, if we have a look, we can see that the stop loss is going to be 50 pips, okay? So we can see that here. So we wanna head over to the Stenu app we wanna go back and we wanna now say the stop loss is 50 pips and we're gonna risk the same $20 that we risked before. Um, and we wanna use CAD JPY now. So we calculate and the order size again is going to be 0 0.06, okay? So what we wanna do is instead of where it says instant execution, you can see the order type is a sell limit, okay? So we click on sell limit the price at which we want to get into the trade is given as 111.000, which is the entry. So we head over to MetaTrader 4 and we put the entry point in. Now the stop loss was given at 111.500, as we can see here, and the take profit is 110.00. So once that's all done, we simply click place and that sell limit has been placed. And if we have a look at the chart, what we will see is that that will be executed um, if the market reaches that level. Now, let's say for example, you are given a trade idea that has more than one take profit. Okay, let's say that it has take profit one and take profit two. Now that means that if your typical order size, let's write it here. So let's say take profit two and let's say it is 1.2300, okay, for the sake of argument. So that's take profit two. Now what that means is instead of using the 0 0.06 order size that you used before or 0 0.07, if you were to then see a trade that has two different take profits, you will open two different trades, okay? So let's say we go back to GBP USD, okay? And let's say that we wanna trade it again, but we wanna use two take profits, then you will simply half your order size. So instead of 0 0.06, you'll use 0 0.03. For that trade, you will enter take profit one, which is as it is, okay? And for the second position that you're opening, you will then enter take profit two, okay? So let's say that you get into another trade because you wanna set TP2. You see it here at 1.23000, okay? So the stop loss remains the same. And in this case, it was 1.21575. And you simply enter that trade. So these are the basic functions that you will need in order to copy and paste trades effectively and to use MetaTrader 4. If you guys have any questions in the comment section, please leave them and I will get back to them as soon as I see them. 
Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and remember that you can use what I believe is the most trusted broker by clicking one of the links in the description as well as joining my Telegram channel. Thank you guys for watching and I look forward to hearing your questions.